Uh, I'm Karen Walker. I'm an executive coach and consultant, speaker, author, and each week I'll post a two by two, which is basically just looking at two different concepts that we juxtapose, and out of that will come a four quadrants. It's a pretty effective framework for helping to show the relationships between the alternatives. And often, but not always, the optimum space will be the upper right-hand quadrant uh, in any diagram like this. It's what Gardner Research calls the magic quadrant. These two ideas. And the first is, what's the atmosphere that the leader has created, looking sort of on a continuum from fear to respect? Um, and the other uh, axis will have to do with the performance uh, that's occurring in the organization. So if you look at the top left quadrant, it's labeled survival of the fittest. So this is a place where, somewhat surprisingly, you're having uh, good performance uh, and it's happening in an atmosphere of fear. Um, so I say surprising because I think there's a sort of a, a thought in the uh, general arena of leadership development that you must always respect and um, you know, show great respect for your organization. And while I think you can get higher performance with that, as we'll talk about in a moment, there are definitely people who will thrive in an atmosphere of fear, but do not expect them to be innovative, do not expect them to take risk. What you will have is a very competitive, sort of cutthroat, survival of the fittest type organization. Now, if you want to improve from this, you might try rewarding the kind of uh, risk behavior that you'd like to see, the sort of innovative behavior that you'd like to see. Um, and also reward them for cooperation and not just for competition. That'll help move things to the right by uh, respecting those behaviors that you'd like to have that are not cutthroat. Now in the bottom left-hand quadrant, I've labeled that see ya. So this is see ya later. This is uh, people who are uh, working in an atmosphere of fear uh, and they have low performance. These people are showing up for the benefits. They are showing up for their paycheck. They are afraid to leave and afraid to get fired. So again, an atmosphere of sort of low innovation, low performance, and as soon as there's a better offer that they feel secure about, they will walk out the door. Thus, the see you later. Now, if you want to improve performance here, um, I think the best place to move would be towards the right, um, and that would be, um, once again, by showing them uh, both more respect, but also um, investing a bit in uh, skills development and in um, uh, feedback. Um, so not just you know, the hammer, not just the, the fear feedback, but also feedback and development about how they can improve. Now in that bottom right-hand quadrant, I've called that show me some love. So this is an area where you have uh, respect in the organization, an atmosphere of respect for the people and their jobs, but you're still not getting high performance. And I think the, the way to move here is to, uh, again, invest in development, uh, invest in feedback uh, to help them see what it takes to get to high performance, help them develop the skills to do that, and try to move this employee or group of employees sort of up uh, to followers for life, which is our magic quadrant. It's the upper right-hand quadrant. Uh, followers for life is a place where you have an atmosphere of respect and you have high performance. Now this respect is definitely a basic ingredient for a high performance team. You can have good performance without it, but it's hard to have high performance. Um, this is a place where you will see risk taping, you will see innovation, you will see a team that's learning and improving on itself all the time. Um, it is the place where people will follow you for life as a leader. So that's our basic two by two for this week. Um, if you want more information about this or other applications, you can sign up for my newsletter at my homepage at www.karenwalker.us or just follow me on any social media channel at karenwalker.us. Um, thanks for spending two minutes with me today. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comment boxes below. Thanks. Take good care.